You know when your math teacher is like, please solve for X. And then you're like, five. The answer is five. Your math teacher could say, right answer. Or, wrong answer. And this is the really cool thing about math, because when you get to the end, you know it. But what about when your English teacher is like, please write an essay. Remember, your essay is due on Friday. It can be really difficult to know where to start, especially because there's no one right or wrong way to write an essay. <laughs> but don't stress, because today I'm here to help you make writing an essay a little bit more like math. And what I mean by that is that I'm gonna give you the formula for writing a strong five paragraph essay. So in a way, just like in math class, in English class, the answer is also five. And if you're not into math, forget about the formula. I'm gonna give you a recipe. A recipe for strong, clear, five paragraph writing. Let's go. This is an excellent five paragraph essay. Math lovers can call this the 131 essay because it has one introduction, three body paragraphs, and one conclusion. Food lovers can call it a burger. You might already know that body paragraphs are also kind of like burgers because they start with a topic sentence, contain three juicy details, and a conclusion. So the five paragraph essay is really just three burgers. <laughs> inside an even bigger burger. The top of the bun, your introduction, should contain a hook, so a sentence that immediately captivates the reader, and a thesis, a clear, specific statement that tells the reader what you're going to explain or prove. And in your conclusion, you can restate the thesis, so say the thesis in a different way, and recap how the topic sentences in your body paragraphs support the thesis. If you're struggling to decide where to start, I encourage you to start with one sentence, and not just any sentence. Your thesis statement is usually the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. It's clear, it's arguable, which means somebody else might disagree with it, and it's not a question. So I'm going to show you some examples of thesis statements, and I want you to tell me if it's strong or if it's weak, and why. Ready? Is this a strong or a weak thesis statement? It's weak. And it's weak because it's obvious. If your thesis statement makes anybody say, duh, then it can definitely be stronger. Is this a strong or a weak thesis statement? Right, again, this is weak because your thesis should never be a question. It should be specific and arguable. So now that we know what weak thesis statements look like, let's write a strong one. And then let's plug it in to our five paragraph formula. You're looking at my favorite formula for strong thesis writing. Woo! Strong Roblox players are strong writers because they know how to design new worlds and build characters. This is clear, it's specific, it's arguable, and it's not a question. So let's put our strong thesis into our five paragraph essay plan. Here's our thesis. I'm writing everything on post-its so that I can make changes or move them around later. We're going to need three topic sentences that support our thesis. If you can't think of any, that's okay. Put the post-its on the paper to get started and write later. Then, each topic sentence is going to have three details or examples to support it. You'll end by restating this thesis in the introduction. Remember that restating is not the same as repeating. So you're going to use this space to rephrase the main idea in a new, different way. So now that I've had some more time to brainstorm, my thesis is basically that if you have the skills to play Roblox, you have the skills to write. If you're ever stuck with topic sentences, look at your thesis and then ask yourself why. Chatting with other Roblox players improves your persuasive writing skills. Designing characters in Roblox can improve your narrative writing. In order to create fantasy worlds, you need to know about the real world, so those are informative writing skills. And now I have three topic sentences. Let's put them in the chart. Remember that every topic sentence should be different, but they all should support the thesis or the main idea. 
Each topic sentence should have three details or examples that you can collect from your own experience or from books, movies, or research. The conclusion is where you restate the thesis and recap your topic sentences in a new, interesting way. Thanks for taking the time to plan a five-paragraph essay with me, and happy writing. Bye. Bye. Bye.